Dr. Alkabi, it's so great to have you on CNBC. Thank you so much for joining us. I just want to walk through, to begin with, um, the vaccination drive in Abu Dhabi, how it started, where you see it going, and how everything is working out today. Well, uh, thank you first for this opportunity. And I think uh, what we are doing here uh, in uh, Abu Dhabi uh, is really amazing in regard to the vaccination itself. Uh, and you know, uh, no one country in the world can do everything together uh, in one time. And uh, I think the beauty is that we were quick uh, to roll out the COVID-19 vaccination. Uh, and we are uh, able so far to administer more than uh, 6 million vaccine doses with a distribution rate of 6.95 doses per 100 people. Uh, I think uh, when we started in last uh, December, the uptake was uh, really amazing and we have a good um, uptake from our community here. We focused our uh, vaccination program for those who are a high risk group of elderly and those with uh, chronic diseases to safeguard their health and safety. And uh, we will continue to maintain the health achievement attained for and curbing the spread of COVID-19 by providing all members of the community with free vaccine and ensure Abu Dhabi will continue to lead the way in comprehensively protecting the population and playing a small part in helping uh, to find a solution for humanity. Right now you have six founding partners. That's the Department of Health in Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi Ports, Etihad Cargo, Refid, SkyCell, Mokta Gateway. When you think about this a bit more broadly, do you anticipate that you'll have more partners within this process as you move for ahead? I think no, no one, one, no one country can work alone, and we need also our strategic stakeholders. And uh, the beauty of uh, providing the vaccine is that you need an ecosystem, and this ecosystem requires all the party to participate. It's open right now. Since we started, uh, we have uh, the main players, and then after two months of implementing or announcing the Hope Consortium, we also uh, received so many requests to join uh, the consortium and we are happy. And uh, from day one, we said, this is not only for UAE, this is for everybody. And we are welcoming anybody who think they can be part of this consortium in the future. Walk me through what I think will be a really exciting summit. You're planning now um, a global immunization and logistics summit, talking to global players. We're talking about world leaders, NGOs, um, big pharma, and that's at this point scheduled for the end of March. What are you hoping to achieve? This uh, World Immunization and Logistics Summit is really important and it is part of the HOPE Consortium, uh, main or cornerstone for the future collaboration. Uh, it's due to take place virtually on March 29 and 30 further uh, cementing Abu Dhabi pioneering role in the fight against COVID-19. We want to put everybody on the same table and to talk about all the different challenges that we are expecting to face for the supply chain of vaccine. Uh, it will provide an open forum for dialogue regarding the logistical challenges associated with vaccine transport and distribution from production to patient. It aims to finding a scalable real world solution to achieving mass and broad worldwide vaccine delivery and vaccination. The challenge that we may see here in Abu Dhabi may be different from other country. We wanna hear and we wanna see the lesson learned from other party. At the same time, it is two day online summit that will see the participation of over uh, than 1000 attendees representing governments, key multinational NGOs, IGOs, pharmaceutical sector and global supply chain players, academia and public and private uh, entities. Dr. al you mentioned that uh, the UAE or Abu Dhabi's approach may be different from other approaches and you can learn from those. What about the approach just down the road here in Dubai? Uh, I think uh, we uh, always look at what we do here in Abu Dhabi and in Dubai is that we complete each other. So it is similar initiative and we are uh, really glad that we have these efforts in UAE. At the end, it is the aim itself, which is really important, is that we are all targeting the humanity and we all we want to provide the solution to make the availability of vaccine for everybody, not only in UAE, for the whole world. Wouldn't that make more sense to do it together? Because they have their own consortium that they're working with as well. Well, uh, we have two airlines in UAE, and I think uh, this is a beauty of the UAE, where actually 
whatever they are doing in um, uh, in Dubai compared to what we do here in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we have so many players for the vaccine production itself. Having two is not an issue. I think this will go in parallel and will work together, inshallah, to make sure that we complete it, each other. Your Excellency, I'm going to put you on the spot on one question, and that, of course, is the difference at the border. There have been some kinks in the system. Um, as you may know, CNBC obviously is located uh, in Abu Dhabi, but we do have an office in Dubai. I'm sitting here right now, and I've had quite a bit of trouble going back and forth across the border. How quickly do you think we're going to get to a stage in the UAE where we will have freedom of movement without having to go through those border checks on a regular basis? Because as you say, a lot of folks have gotten vaccinated. A lot of got, people have gotten their second vaccine. So we're getting close, don't you think, to that point? Yes, I think we always need to remember that uh, the government, uh, Abu Dhabi government vision from the beginning to make sure that we have a safe environment and uh, to also bring back the economy and the normal life to our community and making sure from the beginning mass um, uh, testing for PCR is really important. And sometimes having these checkpoints between uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai is really important. And it uh, actually encourages us to discover more um, cases and to uh, give them the, the area for quarantine, home isolation, and to make also others uh, enjoy their life here in a safe environment. And this is really important. And everything what we are doing here in Abu Dhabi is related to the status of COVID-19. The number of cases we see, the mortality, the, the bit capacity, and all these variables play an important role in deciding all our next step. And I think from the day one, we saw how uh, Abu Dhabi government interacted with different numbers of uh, COVID-19 cases that we see. And right now, I think we are uh, going in the right direction. We're coming close to uh, uh, eradicate this pandemic. And I think it is uh, uh, still, the message is clear. We need to keep uh, monitoring and we need to maintain social distancing, mass testing uh, either within Abu Dhabi Emirates or uh, across the border or the airlines and uh, airports. And it's really important to make sure that we uh, uh, trace and isolate those who require quarantine and treatment. So you don't see that border checkpoint going away anytime soon? It will require some time and this will all relate to the number of cases that we see here in Abu Dhabi and uh, in other Emirates. But you're encouraged by that number today? Uh, the number is uh, optimistic. We are in the right direction right now. Fantastic. Dr. Al-Kabi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity.